Hi, welcome to a fun vinyasa flow class. I'm gonna try and keep it on the shorter side and sneak in a lot of fun core exercises as always. All right, come to a comfortable seat. And uh, let's bring our hands on opposite ankle. Little turtle shell position as we call it in Pilates. Tuck the chin and just drop in. Maybe even bring your closed eyes to your knees if you can to just shut out light. Let go of your morning or day. Come into this present moment. Checking in with your body and not really changing the breath yet. Just noticing how you're feeling. Noticing if you can soften something. Your shoulders, forehead, eyebrows, jaw and tongue. Also noticing if any thoughts are creeping into the mind. Seeing if you can set that aside during your practice and just be, just feel the moves in your body. Feel the strength, the power of your breath. So let's go ahead and change the breath up. Deepening the breathing, inhale into the back expanding through the sides and the rib cage broadens and exhale sigh <sighs> maybe loudly sigh out any stale air lingering tension stress anxiety leaving the body inhale deeply exhale completely emptying out the lungs <sighs> letting go of your worries any judgment, drop in a little bit further into your fold, see if you can surrender something else. Maybe relax the belly, the back, the neck, let it hang a little heavier. And then we'll just simply float on up and stack the vertebrae, draw the shoulders down and away from the ears, maybe some circles circling back and engaging the back muscles, the shoulders as you squeeze and retract them together. Good, inhale, shrug, retract and drop. Forward, start to protract the shoulders, separate and lean back. Keep a grip under the knee and just kind of hang here. Look at your belly button, see if you can pull it in and continue to separate the shoulders. Shake the head out, no tension there. We're just simply leaning away as far as we can, trusting that our arms are gonna keep us right there. Lift the chest, gaze up, thinking of cow, roll the shoulders back and down, exhale, cat. Lean back, round the spine, start to engage the core here, and then see if you can let go and keep your body exactly where it was. So still with the rounded spine. And then we'll simply straighten and round. Four. Straighten the spine. Exhale, cat the back. Maybe starting to ground down a little bit deeper. Inhale. Exhale. Little bit lower. Try not to get stuck down there. Inhale. Exhale. A little bit lower. Can we find our sacrum and shoot the legs out? For this low boat. Chin is tucked forward, head is completely relaxed. Draw into that low belt. Now drop off the legs and add a little roll, a little um, tick tock here. We're just going to roll back, heels up, roll and tap and roll. Now gather a little bit more momentum and start to roll like a ball. Tuck and balance at the top. Shine the heart forward, shoulders back. Squeeze the belly in and then lift up through heart center. So round, roll, so we're not bouncing on the vertebrae. We're creating this cat back so we can find a nice massage on the vertebrae. And then we're stopping our momentum by engaging your core. Hold it here, tap it out for eight, seven, six, stretching those toes towards the sky. Exhale, four, three, two, one, great work. Grab onto those ankles, pull the feet as close as you can under the knees and see if you can just lift up and then have a seat. Come into Malasana, Yogi Squat. 
Try this with no hands, and if you need hands, then absolutely push off the hands. Into Malasana, hold a moment and start to drop one knee and then pry it out. Drop the other knee, elbows pull apart, groin inner thigh stretch. Drop, pry. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, last one. Inhale, internal rotation, external rotation. Settle into those hips, into those, into the Achilles tendon. Some of us can't really drop the heels and that's okay too. You can be hanging out with the heels lifted. This time, hands come down, step into tabletop position. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Arch and lengthen, opening up the heart, the shoulders retracting. Exhale, the shoulders separating. Tuck the tailbone, add that extra layer of tailbone under and then lift. You'll really feel the core fire if you're strongly cat, rounding the back and tucking the pelvis, tailbone under. Ooh, that extra low body crunch, low abdominals. Inhale, exhale, curl it under. Come back in, rock your fingers side to side, or turn your fingers and rock side to side, shedding the shoulders over the fingertips. Nice little wrist stretch. Taking the fingers backwards and rocking here. Try to keep the heel of the palm down as best you can before it peels off. <sighs> Couple more. <sighs> Good job. Take your fists down. Take some weight into the fists and lift the knees. Hover, bounce. Four, three, two. Strong shoulders, strong core. One, bring those knees down. Walk your hands just slightly beyond your shoulders so that we can start to lower and lift. Lower onto forearms, pop up to table. Lower slow, pop up to table. Into the fingertips, into the forearms, elbows. Fingertips, maybe start to rock the hips forward and then back like you're gonna sit into a child's pose and lift. And here we're gonna add a little knees, chest, chin. Gentle cobra here. We haven't been here yet. Pry the shoulders back. Lower. Cobra. And lower. Cobra. Maybe up dog. Hold it. Take a moment to open up through the hip flexors and quads. Push the shoulders down. Shine the heart forward. These may be up. Maybe some gentle bounces. And then tabletop. Cow, uh, sorry, cat the back, round, round, round. And then come into neutral. Right leg back, left arm forward. Spinal balance here. We're gonna try to lower onto the forearm to back to the hand for three. Forearm, sit back, charge up. Forearm to hand. Forearm to hand. Now tuck and extend and lower. Lift up, tuck, elbow to knee, extend, forearm, maybe your toes tap, that's okay, and then charge back up. It's harder if they don't. Tuck, last one. Forearm to hand, tiger pose. See if that back foot's available, hug the heel in, and then charge those toes to sky. If you can't quite reach the foot, no problem. You'll just do this active instead of passive which actually makes it harder. Press into those fingers, grow a little higher into your tiger, lift the leg, and we're gonna take this foot and step on through. All right, finding a nice 90-90 shape in your lunge. Take a huge pelvic tilt. Inhale the arms up, and then twist. Swoosh in a circle. Twist, circle, twist and circle. Send the heel forward and lower down from here to half split. Big breath in and out. Again, always okay to have a bent knee in front. We'll just gently try to work it straighter. Left hip forward, right hip back. Heart and gaze forward. Flex those toes. Press into the fingertips. See if you can slip that foot up and through. So it might be quite challenging to compress enough, use the core and the hip flexor enough 
to where you can slip in and out. We're just gonna try. Push the earth away, heel up. See if you can hug the knee in and slip the foot back to donkey. In, blocks will work too if you just don't have the space here. Half split, tuck, and lift donkey. Squeeze, lighten the fingertips. You could also lower to palm if that feels better. Fingertips will just give you more height here. Slip that foot through. Now let's go half split, low lunge, low. Now we're not in a 90-90, we're sinking, but keeping the core active, slip back. Forward, back, half, uh, sorry, low lunge, Anjaneyasana, half split. Hold your low lunge, bring your hands behind your head, keep the elbows wide, take a breath as you try to shine the heart upward. Beautiful. Let's stack our hip and then take a gentle back bend. Keeping your head supported, like a half camel, half lunge. One big breath here, oof, tuck the chin, bring your hands down, back into tabletop, left leg, right arm. Take a moment to connect to the core, and then we'll start to drop forearm to hand. Again, the back toes might land, but try to keep them hovering if you can. Lower, you can sit, back down and lift so the hips can come behind the um, knee and then lift from here add your tuck tuck elbow knee extend forearm to hand elbow knee round and compress extend forearm to hand one more tuck extend drop lift tiger pose swim the hand back Grab a hold of the outside top of the foot, hug the heel in. Take a moment to open up that shoulder and kick into the hand, start to gaze forward. Breathe here, try to create a little bit more length and space. Inhale and exhale. A little bit more, a little bit more. Whew. Now release the foot without letting it slingshot. Hug it through. Can you slip that forward? Now you're in this 90-90 lunge. Huge, intentional pelvic tilt. Feel what that does in that quad and hip flexor. Inhale the arms up. Twist, three circles, and lift. Twist, keep the pelvis tucked, and circle. Twist, and circle, lift. All right, lift the left foot and see if you can extend it. Balancing, sweep down, half split. Breathe. Connect to lengthening the left front hamstring here. You can stay up on fingertips, take flat hands. Try to elongate the spine. Gaze forward, heart forward. Right hip forward, left hip drawing back. Breathe. Mm. Prop up on fingertips. Cat the back, see if you can slip that foot into your donkey. And then forward and through into half split. Maybe you never touch the ground, which is awesome core strength. And if you do have to slide it on through or even use your hands for help, that's okay too. Lift, tuck it in, sweep it through. Lift it up, sweep it back. Ah, hold this one. Maybe you come onto palms for a moment. Lift, active energy in the glutes in that whole posterior chain. Lift, lift, lift. Sweep it in, send it forward. You can pop up onto fingertips to create space and then shift into that low lunge with the knee way beyond the hip now. Sweep the arms up and behind the head. Lift, open up the chest. Take a moment here to just melt while keeping the core active and not dumping into the low back. We'll lift up and take it into a back bend. So now your hip is over your knee and we're shining the heart upward, keeping the neck supported. Oh, still tough. One more big breath and tuck it in. Low lunge to half split a few times from this deep low lunge, just rocking forward and back and forward and back. Good work. Take that foot back, find downward facing dog. 
from downward facing dog, right leg is going to lift up to sky. All right, I'm not going to have space, so I'm going to try to turn so I can thread my leg through. My right leg is first going to tuck knee to nose, connect, push the shoulders down, lift the hips up high, down dog. Now thread and slice the leg under and through and just lower the hips. The back knee can bend into any position it wants to come into. We're going to connect back foot on top of bottom foot and then back where you came from, lift the hips to fall in triangle. Lift the heart, take a moment here, maybe bend and straighten into that front knee. So fallen warrior, fallen triangle, just movements that feel organic and good. <sighs> Bring the hand down, come back this time, knee to sky. Right knee stacks over and we kind of open up to twist. It's okay, it's okay if you start to stack the right shoulder a little bit too. Hug the heel in, feel the hamstring turn on. This time square, extend, step all the way through. High lunge. Whew. Big breath in. Cactus and lift, shiva, squat knees meet. High lunge, crescent to cactus. Gentle back bend and shiva, hold. We're gonna lower down to kneeling and then back up to shiva, Woo. Back to crescent lunge. Cactus elbows this time, shift forward, warrior three. Arms can stretch back, forward to the side to heart center. You can keep the right knee support, uh, soft or you can try to straighten it out. We're gonna turn from uh, warrior three to half moon. Right arm slips down, little challenge to open that hip and keep the balance. If you have a block, you can use that here. You can try to get your fingertips down or you can hover this, which is even more challenging with no support. So wherever you are, I'm gonna take one more deep breath. Maybe you grab into sugar cane, just an option. And then taking a half seated Lord of the Fish, that back knee crosses and we come all the way down to seated. Inhale, left elbow high, exhale, see if you can twist. Maybe it hooks across the right quad. <sighs> Inhale, straighten spine. Exhale, twist, twist, twist. <sighs> Get a little uncomfortable, but there should not be pain. One more big breath, in and out. We're gonna make a big spiral all the way around, just for fun to get up. And then we're stepping that left right foot, foot back into warrior two. Make your way there, hopefully without as many bubbles as I took, but no judgment either way. Right knee out, pull the arms in opposition, Tuck the pelvis slightly under, so we have this nice neutral spine, and we're stacked, shoulders over hips. Flip the palm, reverse. Take a moment here in your reverse warrior, and then lift the back arm away. See if you can reach the arms back and shine the heart up. Bend a little deeper, whoo! Cartwheel through vinyasa, all the way down, like nothing happened, throw it away, into the earth, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Let's hop forward. When you're ready, bend the knees, gaze forward, get those hips up nice and high, press into the fingertips, squeeze the quads, <sighs> halfway lift and fold. Root to rise all the way up, palms to heart center. Feel the heart beating, feel alive, feel powerful. Let's do the other side, and then we have one more flow. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Ooh, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, your flow. You could jump back to plank or right into chaturanga. Upward facing. Exhale, down dog. Left toes to sky. Knee to nose, shift forward into the fingertips. Hover, lift the hips, push the shoulders apart. Exhale. 
slice it through, lower the hips. Come to a place where you can sit on that left hip, even if you need to bend the back knee or maybe you can keep it back there. It's a pretty big twist. Stack the hips and feet, swing back, peel up to fall in triangle. And then perhaps bending and straightening into the front knee, if that feels good, fallen warrior, fallen triangle, fallen warrior, fallen triangle, and the feet might lift whatever your body wants to do. And then maybe you ground them back down. Shift the right hand down, left foot to sky, knee to sky this time, hip stack. So big spiral circle, hug the heel in, allow the left shoulder to come up a little bit, that's okay. Press the, press the chest towards your toes. Keep the strength and integrity of the shoulders, even if one is rising. And then just challenge that edge of your twist. Woo. Square out, extend. Tuck in, step through. High lunge, crescent. Cactus elbows. Lift up. Shiva, connect knees. Heart and gaze forward. Bend into the standing leg. Hug the back heel in. High lunge, cactus. Lift Shiva, hold it, and then this right knee slides down. Kneeling position, hands to prayer. Come right back up, Shiva, and then step back. Cactus the elbows in your high lunge one more time. Pry the heart open, maybe challenge that gaze, and lift. This time, warrior three, charge. Hip square, hands can be back or anywhere you'd like. Remember, we're going into half moon. So prepare your mind to open up the hip, soften the standing leg, and twist the shoulder and hip to stack. If you fall out, no big deal. Maybe your fingertips can find the mat or a block. Stack, start to flex. Peel the shoulders open, hips, turn on the glute. Perhaps a sugar cane, if that foot's available to grab. Let it go. Right leg is going to bend, knee bends, cross, and then come all the way down to seated. Create a little space by maybe knee, uh, opening up the right toes if you need to, to get both sit bones down. Inhale, right arm lifts. Exhale, rotate into your twist. And then just allow the breath to move you. Inhale, lifts. Exhale, twists. Ringing out. <sighs> Allowing that left hip to settle. So if you have tight hips, you're probably feeling that external rotation. Continue here as you deepen the twist one more time. And then just for fun, we take that big pirouette and the right toes stretch back. Warrior two. Pulling the arms in opposition, tucking the pelvis under, firming the belly, allowing, not allowing the knee to cave in, but opening it, pulling those fingers, heart proud, ground down into the back pinky toe, and then flip and reverse. When you're ready, see if you can extend the back arm, and then reach the arms back as you shine the heart and gaze up, straightening up that back leg as much as possible, and we'll cartwheel into our flow, vinyasa of your choice. Down dog. All right. Take another nice, deep, calming breath. Allow the hips to sway from side to side. Let's move on to one more flow. Right leg high. We're gonna spin the right knee under the hip for a modified side plank. It's gonna look like this, spin, and lift. Can we abduct this left leg, lift it high, use the outer thigh, press down into the shoulder, hold right here, all out effort to lift that leg as high as you can. Take a hold of the top of the leg and kick into partridge, just for a breath. And then let that leg go and put it down. Now pressing into the left foot, right knee is gonna squeeze up Lift it as high as you can as you push the shoulder down. We're gonna go into Skandasana, so it's gonna be a quick lift the hips and swing. Try to do it in one fast action of up, 
step. And then wiggle your way to wherever you want to be in your skandasana. Whether you're sitting, you're up on your heel, it's all good. Just play with the ranges and places your body can go. So lifting, lowering, heel up, heel melting. Face to the back of your mat. Follow the left toes down as you come into side angle pose. Shift and float. Try to make it really fluid. Now, so active side angle pose, like nothing happens, sweep the left arm up. Bounce a little bit. Continue to use that core, obliques, front quad. When you're ready, right hand down, flip the heel up, twisting lunge. Pressing strongly into that bottom right shoulder. Straighten out that back leg. Squeeze into the core, and then we're gonna try to go to side plank, facing the whole other side. Lift the left foot and stack into side plank. Wild thing if you like, shift the hips up. Lift the heart up, start to push the, the everything up and back. All right, now, hamstring curl the left foot back, come to seated. Whew. All right, so we're sitting in this kneeling position. Just for fun while we're here, we're gonna try a handstand, and then this leg is gonna sweep forward, okay? Set your hands up. Maybe you get some air time, you can hold a handstand. You could take a few tries, push the earth away, and then see if you were able to get that L. This time, right foot down, left foot swings through, seated. Nice job. Grab a hold of the shin, sit up nice and tall. Bring your elbow inside, wrap the hand around. Mariachna A. Left hand reaches back. Maybe your fingers meet. Either way, let's try to drop into a fold. Big breath in and out. Flex those front toes. Hug the knee in. Lower a little bit deeper. Big breath in and out. All right. So we're gonna try. We're gonna try to take a little elephant trunk jump back to chaturanga. Take your right arm, thread it under. Hug the left knee as high up the arm as possible. Lean forward, thread the left foot back, and then jump chaturanga. And maybe you didn't make that. That's all good. Take a moment to hang out in child's pose before we finish up the flow on the other side. If you need water, a towel, I'm sweaty. Take your time. You can always hit pause as well. So check in with the body. See if you can soften the back. Circle the wrists, blink those fingers. Take the back of the palm down, elbows high, a little compression in reverse of those palms. Been on the hands a lot. Ragdoll up. And then let's take, um, a little camel flow. We're gonna take a big pelvic tilt to lift us up. It's harder than it looks. It should feel like really hard to get the quads to lift us. Pelvic tilt, quads lift us. Ooh. Tuck your right toes under and then you, however you need to grab it, even sit, heel connects to, palm connects to heel, swivel, sit, swivel, opening a little bit deeper into that side camel, and then maybe turning the heart and gaze up. And lower down, untuck that toe, forward fold, hinge like a good morning, nose to mat, pelvic tilt, squeeze to lift. Tuck your left toes under, sit and grab a hold of uh, heel of hand to heel, and then three times. Swivel the hips back, swivel the hips forward over the knees, creating more space with each breath, with each lift. Hold, spiral the heart up, elbow wide, lift, tuck the chin, and take your good morning forward fold like you're doing a child's pose, but it's all work. No hands, nose touches, and lift back up. Hip hinge back this time as far as you can, ooh, hands down, jump back through a vinyasa or down dog. Left leg up, 
left knee spins to the right, stacking knee under hip, lifting into your modified side plank on the knee. Arm and leg pull in opposition as you twist the heart up. Flexor point, just keep it active and really lift as high as you can. I want that outer thigh to feel that fire. Squeeze, whoo! Bend the knee, see if you can grab a hold for a quick partridge, kickback, shoulder opening, hip flexor, quad, stretch, let go. Lift, press that right foot down. Left fingers and hand press down so firmly on the right foot that you can lift that knee towards the sky. Hold it. When you're ready, it's that quick hip up, swing left foot behind left hand. Inhale, you can bend the right knee to get a little momentum and then step. All right, so we're going from here to here. Let the hips go with you, let your feet lift, make it feel natural, don't force yourself into any positions. You need your knees and your ankles and your toes to go in a natural place. So don't glue anything down, move. Skandasana and any movements, high heel, low heel, sitting, lifting. From here, side angle pose to the back of the mat. Let it be graceful, fluid, float there. Open up the heart, shoulders stack. So we're grounding into the pinky toe. We're taking a gentle pelvic tilt by engaging the glutes, hollowing out the belly, and then both arms stretch. Hold it here, feel the shaking, feel the fire, maybe the sweat. Left hand down, right arm up as the heel lifts. Big turn fall, ha, twisting lunge. Good, reach the right arm up. Press firmly into this left hand and all five fingers, they're spreading and gripping. Now, as if nothing happened, we slip into side plank, wherever you wanna be, stacked feet, parallel uh, one in front of the other. Now, option for wild thing, step the foot back and start to lift the heart up. Maybe that shoulder spun so you can get more of a back bend. All right, press, stack the shoulder again. Bend the right knee, see if you can slip it under, and then push yourself into a kneeling position. Whew. Take a moment, check in with the body, straighten the spine, shake out, blink the fingers. Handstand option, hands down, push the shoulders down, kick the right toes up, maybe it takes a couple tries, and then, oof, See if you can get a moment. <sighs> Gentle pelvic tilt, hips over shoulders, active legs and fingers. Left toes float down, right foot slips through. <sighs> Sit. Restack the vertebrae. Left hand inside, wraps outside, right hand goes behind. Maybe fingers meet, drop into a forward fold. Flex the toes. Release the neck, hug that left knee in. Take a couple breaths here. Use your core to lower down if you can. You can bend the right knee, think compression, and lift. Take your left knee under your left shoulder. Lean forward, shoulders forward to lift your butt up, makes your butt light. Sweep the right foot back. See if you can jump back as you chaturanga bend the elbows. And then your flow. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in and out. Let's come down to forearms. Melting the forearms in one movement if possible. And then just a quick opportunity for an inversion. If you want to take a pincha or a supportive headstand, you can play jump kick, maybe a neutral neck pinch up, dropping the gaze, pushing the shoulders down, elbows under shoulders, don't let them get too wide, tuck the pelvis, relax the neck, breathe. Any shapes you want to make? 
Coming out when you're ready. Let's come into Malasana. Jump the feet wide. Point the fingers down. Stretching, counter stretching the wrists. Come into Malasana. Open up, up, Navasana. From Malasana, Navasana. Lift up. So we're gonna go low, right knee tucks. Low, left knee tucks. Low, right, low, left. Low boat, right knee, low boat, left knee. All right, now hold your tuck at the top, thinking of a balancing crow pose in Navasana. From tuck, low L, low L. Arms can float back. You can use your momentum of the arms to tuck. Low L, left leg up. Tuck, low L, right leg up. Tuck, low L, left leg. Two more, you got this. Tuck, and L, and tuck, and L. Low boat to crab. Feet down, fingers out, swivel those hips like you're tucking the pelvis and peeling the hips open and the shoulders back. Take a nice deep breath here in your tabletop. Firm everything, squeeze, shift onto the right hand, left arm reaches up and over, framing your face. Come back, keep the hips up. Shift into the left hand, right elbow frames face. Maybe the gaze goes down or back. Shift back, reverse table. <sighs> Tuck the chin, have a seat, low boat to bridge. Bend the knees, maybe grab the ankles, lift the hips. So we're going to do our first bridge really low. You're just thinking of a pelvic tilt and prepping your glutes and your hamstrings, your uh, hip flexors and your quads. Hold it really low, really active, squeeze up and lower it. Then you're thinking of a back bend. Maybe you wrap around your ankles, wiggle the shoulder blades together, and make it be really high and active. Hug the knees towards one another. Squeeze the glutes, puff up through the chest. <sighs> Relax the neck, a little space between your chin and chest, and release. Hug the knees in. Feel free to do one more like that. Perhaps you feel up for wheel. Didn't really do a whole lot of back bending, but maybe you can see what, what happened. Maybe we did some sneaky shoulder opening and back bending with the up dogs and the camels. Let's see what happens. Swivel the knees from side to side a few times, and then let's see, press onto the hands and puff up the chest to the back of the mat. Maybe a few little rocks forward and back. Big breath in and out. You could pop up onto your toes and you'll create a little more space to bend and then walk those feet out, tuck the chin, slowly lower down. Arms and feet float up, circle the ankles, circle the wrists. And hanging out in your waterfall doing whatever feels good. Last option, we'll do a shoulder stand or a um, plow pose. And just be mindful, just let it feel good. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to look any certain way. Just to counter stretch the back and then we'll do a twist and end. Take a moment, flex the toes, use your core to lift. And then maybe you keep the hands supporting the back. So you could stay right here, just kind of hanging out, allowing the back to bend in the opposite way. So just being really mindful of the neck and taking any shapes that feel good. You can bend the knees, the legs can float. You can tuck. Just feel the spine decompress. Feel the energy or the blood flow in reverse, since we are in an inversion. If you'd like to come up to shoulder stand, go for it, but we should never feel compromised in the neck. Please don't look around. 
Press weight into the shoulders. Use the core to lift up and away, toes to sky. So on the way down, whenever you're ready, we're gonna use our core to lower us. Hands extend, press down into the fingertips. Use the triceps and the core to slowly lower one vertebrae at a time, like a string of pearls, all out effort here. Three, two, and one. Hug the knees in, give yourself a nice tight squeeze, roll the shoulders back and down. We're gonna send the arms into cactus, like goal post. Drop the knees over to your right. Ooh, a nice juicy twist here. Your right hand can go down on the outer thigh. Keep the connection of the left shoulder really ground down. You can take the gaze over to the left and continue to breathe here, releasing any tension, wringing out the spine. And maybe if you'd like, you can extend that top leg, take a yogi toe lock or grab the calf, whatever's available to you. Continue to ground down through the left shoulder blade and try to stack the hips. Breath is moving. Bring the knees in, and then push the palms down. Use the core to lift the legs. Cactus, float the legs to the left. Left hand can go down as it stacks onto the outer thigh. Turn the gaze to the right and then ground down through that right shoulder. Nice deep breathing. No tension in the face, a nice soft smile. Soften the jaw and the tongue. Maybe extend that top leg. Explore pushing that right hip up and into a more stacked position. Continue to ground out and turn that neck and gaze. And then exhale, palms down, pull those legs back up. Here's where we're gonna come to our final resting pose. Feel free to come into traditional corpse pose or get creative. What is gonna feel good for you? To take legs up a wall, Little Baddha Konasana, butterfly knees, soles of the feet touch. Hands can float out, maybe adjust lifting your head, shoulders, and then just settle into your mat. Allow the fingers to curl naturally to the heart, the eyes to close. Releasing, again, any tension that you're holding on to, maybe in the face and then float that down, scanning each body part. We worked really hard. Be proud of yourself. Feel that gratitude of all that hard work you were able to accomplish. Even if everything wasn't perfect, it was exactly how it was supposed to be. And just giving yourself that reminder of putting your health at the top or a big priority and filling your own cup so that you can be healthy and happy for others. So important to take that time out for yourself and you did it. You showed up today. Stay as long as you'd like in this state of meditation. I will leave you here today and I just want to say thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. Namaste.